the race is upon us and here's stage one the tour starts in belgium this year and that is on the 50th anniversary of eddie Merckx's first overall win here 50 years ago and also as 100 years of the yellow jersey so i know they made these special <laughs> ugly honestly jerseys that uh, have like pictures on them i think we'll see one of those on stage one so keep an eye out for those who's gonna wear it uh, as you see it's a flat stage one for the sprinters there uh, there's a little bit of cobble action but it's way too far from the finish to really do anything and i don't expect anything there maybe a crash if anything if guys really are nervous about being up front but i don't expect it the sprinters to have any difficulties there it shouldn't split up the field Flat day, one for the sprinters. And in my mind, there are three top sprinters this year. And uh, like a step down below that to tier two. And number one, my pick for this stage is Grona Wagen. I think he's the fastest guy. And he's finally going to show it at the tour with like a dominant display like we used to see from Cav. I think he's going to win at least three stages, maybe as many as five. So there are seven stages that are classified as sprint stages this year and that's that's pretty good amount for the sprinters they should be happy with that and you know you never know a break might go on one of those sprint days or there may be a day that we thought was hilly but sprinters can make it so that's just an estimate but seven opportunities is pretty good and number two on my list would be caleb ewan especially if the sprint is a little bit uphill so keep your eye on him I expect him to win one stage. And then number three on my list would be Viviani. And he didn't really show a whole lot in the Giro. He did win that stage, but then later got relegated. But after that, like he really, he was, you know, in the mix, but he really didn't look that strong. So has he recovered? Can he come back to the tour stronger than he looked in the Giro? You never know. I expect him hopefully to win a stage. And then below that, you have some sprinters that maybe... You know, don't be surprised if they win a stage, but I don't see them as favorites for stage one. You've got, uh, for instance, Sagan, who, you know, he could win a sprint, but he's not as fast as Gronewagen if they're, you know, both going on top form. And then you've got Michael Matthews, who he's another guy like Sagan, who, you know, he's better suited if there's some hills that can drop the pure sprinters. And then you've got Greipel, who I hope he wins a stage, but I don't think he will, you know, I think word is this is probably his last tour but i'll be pulling for him i really you know he's a super nice guy but those are my top three sprinters i expect grunewagen to win to pull on that yellow jersey and then the stage after this is a team time trial so they'll have to fight hard to keep that it is a, a 10 second bonus for the winner so you know he'll have a little buffer in the team time trial but my prediction I think we'll probably see that the jersey will change hands after the team time trial. So this is the chance, maybe the one only chance for the sprinters to wear the yellow jersey. It's going to be a big fight. As always on stage one, everybody's fresh, everybody's anxious. And I hope we don't, but we could see some crashes today. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Sprint stage. See you tomorrow.